Okay, so we have done so far before the transfer function, we've been dealing with this system, right? So for this system, if you uh, remember um, the x steady state response equal to, are you able to write down that one without looking at the cheat sheet? Let me help you. Um, this including a magnitude, right? And also including the phase angle. And what is this uh, capital X? If you remember the capital X, and that is relating is about the magnification factors, right? And magnification factors, something like this one, is starting with one, okay? So for capital X, that one, if you remember, that one is equal to um, F0, K minus N omega square square plus C omega square or uh, times cosine omega t minus phi and phi equal to arc tangent um, C omega k minus n omega square. I think that's the result. Or otherwise, this form have other similar expression. It simply is delta s t and divided by one minus r square and plus 2 r zeta squared. And this is the derived form, right? That derived form operated from here, but this is original. Okay, so this is original, we done this one. So let me keep this one here. And if you remember, how do we, how did we obtain this form? From the day one of the chapter three, we starting from is we talk about the solution process for solving the differential equations like this. If you, if you still remember, okay. Now I let us do the same process for this. Okay, so for this case, we do the transfer functions. So this one taking the plus stretch form that is m s squared plus c s plus k multiply with capital X and equal to. Let me say the total force is is the F, okay. So basically the transfer function is this. This is our output and that is capital X. And this is our input, that is our F. And this is M S squared plus C S plus K. So that is the transfer function representation of the system. And here I skip up the little bit details, but that's the way. So here I want to do is to do symbolic and calculation compared to here is a numeric. Okay. So now we uh, transform into, um, with s equal to j omega. So we transform into our information, so that will be k minus m omega squared plus j omega times squared. Uh, squared, yes, <laughs> thank you, here, and c omega. Okay, so now is our uh, the, the force, and this is the output uh, response. Okay, so so for the force right now we have is uh, the magnitude is at zero, and what is cosine omega t? So here, this is the real part here. So you know, for our force, uh, say in general, the force will be equal to F now sine cosine omega t plus J sine omega t. So this is the real part. So that is the E, um, I think I give myself a little bit more uh, challenging here. So,
Um, I can do it in both ways. I can tell that I'm not scrub today. But for easy demonstrations, uh, can I replace this one simply with E, J, Omega, T, Q, B, General, okay? So because that will be easier to follow up the concept we're doing there. So here is J times Omega, T, okay? So now for the same thing here, and this is our input, this is our output, and let me continue to transform here. So basically this is equivalent, okay, equivalent. This is one, this is a complex number, and let me do the calculations. For this one, uh, okay, I want to simplify this one. I want to simplify into this kind of the form. So simply, I want to find out is what is the magnitude, and then what is the uh, the phase angle of this one. The same way. So from here, if you compare to our calculation, basically the magnitude is this, and basically this one. Let me do the calculation here. So this one, and numerators. We have the real part. We have a uh, imaginary part. So it's a magnitude simply is equal to the, the real part uh, square plus the imaginary part square. Okay, this is a magnitude. And phase angle simply is equal to J and, um, let me use this one here. Um, uh, Whatever the symbols uh, say, using using theta, okay, using uh, theta theta omega. So theta omega simply is arc tangents. Um, right now we're working on is in the denominator that is the real the major part minus this one. Okay. So this one equal to this. So this is a numerator, this is a denominator, so basically this one will be equal to 1 divided by the contents of inside the square root, and then this 1 is a constant, equivalent, it has the phase angle equal to 0. Okay. So numerator has the phase angle equal to 0, and denominator has a phase angle such that big, so their division simply is the subtractions of this from here. So that is equivalent is E minus I theta omega. Okay? So basically from here we have information. From here you can see simply this one is equal to, let me say, pick up the information from here. And then this is phase angle minus J and theta there. Okay? And this is our input at 0 times E J omega T. Okay, now the output, which is our steady state response, equal to, there's a multiplication of input with the transfer functions. So that means magnitude of the phase response is the magnitude of this multiplied with the magnitude of the transfer transfer function, so that is equal to F now, and divided by this one. Okay, and then the phase angle, this is a multiplication of this number with this number, so their phase angle is simply added up together, so that is E J omega T minus theta. If you compare this result with this one, basically you can see the magnitude equal to that one, the phase angle simply equal to what we have here. 
So basically here in this demonstration that I show you, I guarantee right now we're working differently on this side. Basically is solving equally. Uh, we have done uh, the time domain, which means we solve for the differential equations. And many times I can tell you when people working with dynamics, the system dynamics is always easier to use in the transfer functions because transfer functions involved is only algebraic multiplications, divisions of the magnitude, uh, addition, subtractions on the face angle. That's it. Okay. Uh, everything is here, and hopefully today you can pick up this information to help you right away and to get the exercise on the homework. Okay. And uh, again, in textbook, there's a small section called the frequency transfer function, and more detailed information is there, but I can say that is not so systematic. Um, the, I also upload uh, a few kind of handouts similar to what you have and to Blackboard. Hopefully, they, have, they can help you. Again, I'm expecting uh, you to bring up some questions to me on Friday, and we can discuss on Friday in class about uh, the transfer function if you have to have anything. And I expect that you should have quite a bit questions. Okay, so as a first time uh, learners. So that is the information that pretty much for this. And I think the Friday, 